Hey, uh, this is Alexander from Dallas, Texas. I took Whitney's course about seven years ago now, and I wanted to give this testimonial just because I, I have gotten so much benefit from it. Uh, I can't tell you how many clients that I've had that have been really appreciative of my extensive knowledge. Uh, the fact that I understand what anterior pelvic tilt is, uh, the fact that I know the difference between uh, bursitis and uh, shoulder impingement or whatnot. There, there's so many things that can cause a shoulder to be uh, in pain. And because of that extensive knowledge, I'm able to basically become Sherlock Holmes for the muscular system. Uh, whenever somebody comes in with an injury, I'm able to triangulate what's really going on. Uh, one of my favorite things from the course is the fact that he goes into uh, how to tell the difference between whether it's like passive tissue, meaning whether it's neurological or ligament, or if it's tendinous or uh, muscular. And if you're not able to tell the difference, then uh, you could end up uh, wasting your time or the client's money. And one of my favorite clients, uh, she came in with, uh, like she was unable to lift her arm up past here. Uh, she couldn't even like push her purse over. Uh, she was in pretty bad condition and she couldn't, she couldn't throw anything, uh, which is unfortunate because she has dogs. And so uh, whenever she came in, I focused on uh, the infraspinatus and the bicipital groove, like uh, right through in here, the long head of the biceps attaches right up here to the glenoid labrum. And so I, I noticed that there, there seemed to be uh, it, it was very tender, very sore in there, and there was a referral pattern from the infraspinatus to the front as well. So working both of those, uh, we actually did twice a week for two months, and that helped to open everything up. And she, she texted me one day, uh, just giddy, super giddy. She was like, oh my God, I am able to blow dry my hair. Yeah, it, it's just such a simple thing that when, you, when you're not able to do it, man, it is such a hassle. And uh, so whenever I was able to free that up for her, uh, she was super grateful. Uh, she's been my regular client for years now, probably like five or six years. And then there's other clients that, you know, it's just basic Swedish deep tissue or whatnot. Uh, and, and so the orthopedic skills don't come in they don't come into play with every massage, but it's really useful to have that on my tool belt whenever I reach something. Uh, and so, you know, a client might come in for just uh, wanting some relaxation, some stress relief. And then while we're on the table, they come to say like, well, you know, actually I've been experiencing some numbness and tingling in my hip. And because I know where the cuneal nerve is, I know where the superior gluteal nerve is, because I know where, what they innervate, I'm able to point them in the right direction, like whether it might be a trigger point, whether it might be one of those nerves that I mentioned, uh, the cuneal nerve could be a, like bow strung across the hip, and that might be, it, it might be because they're, they have a really tight low back, and that be, the fact that the nerve perforates the thoracolumbar our aponeurosis and goes over the hip. If the low back is too tight, that can start to pull that nerve, causing a bowstring effect uh, along the hip and can cause uh, either weakness or potentially uh, numbness or tingling along the hip. So it could be those, or it, it could be a number of things. But because you, you build up the anatomy one lesson at a time, you're able to soak this stuff in I'll send them a, a picture of the anatomy. I, I will send them just a little bit of, I might send them some of the trigger points that are in the orthopedic assessment book. And uh, that just, that gets them on the right track. And so sometimes I, I have to look this stuff up after the client leaves and then I'll send it to them. And I can tell they're palpably grateful that I go that extra mile and, and help them out that way. So I hope this was helpful for you in understanding just the, uh, the value that this course has. Uh, it's just the greatest thing I ever did in my massage. Uh, Lomi Lomi is pretty awesome as well. A quick six hour massage course and you'll get a bunch of clients who are interested in Lomi Lomi. But uh, orthopedic massage, I, I would take that over the Lomi Lomi, hands down, because it's way more interesting, way more intriguing, uh, way more practical 
And the Lomi Lomi is for people that just want to feel good. <laughs> and so I'm happy to do that, but I am way more intrigued by people that are suffering and uh, who, are, who have injuries, who are in pain and need somebody who understands the body uh, thoroughly. So go forth and uh, learn your stuff and have a great career. Cheers.